Thanks, Brett. Tonight, an 84-year-old man is pleading with his favorite fast food restaurant to make things right after what he calls a humiliating experience. He says two employees took his motorized scooter and put it outside the rain, and it has not worked since. Levi Ismail spoke with the man. He joins us now here in the studio with more. Levi? Well, language didn't stand in the way of Sotero Reyes showing us just how hurt he was by this experience. He says this is his favorite restaurant and has been for 40 years. Now he wants them to do right by him, but hopefully this time around they actually listen. He told me he came over and he looked for me on Friday because something happened to him. So then he started getting teary eyed and, you know, crying a little. And I told him, like, what happened? There was little said, but enough hurt. It's been days of frustration for Sotero Reyes, just when he thinks he has it. His scooter goes back to being useless. Even though he might not look handicapped, he is handicapped and he's been handicapped for several years now. Relief comes from routine. For nearly 40 years, Reyes would ride his scooter four blocks to the Burger King off Shepherd Drive. Even in rain, Friday, September 21st, was no different. He parked his mobile chair next to one of the tables. Sotero's granddaughter, Nellie, helps to translate what happened next. Uh, well, one of the ladies at Burger King told him that he needed to leave his scooter outside because he was bringing water inside. When Reyes refused, he says two employees rolled his scooter back outside and into the rain. Some of the people were telling them, no, you know, bring it in. While others made it worse. My grandfather says that, you know, there was a lot of people there that day. What made him upset and what made him sad was that everybody was laughing. And for the first time, there's a pain this 84-year-old can't hide. People shouldn't be treated that way, you know, especially um, the people that are um, handicapped and our elderly shouldn't be treated that way. Reyes filed his complaints and what he wants is what he lost. An apology wouldn't be so bad either. One administrator met me at the door and they said that they were not speaking, although he does say he's seen the complaints by the Reyes family and hasn't responded. Now multiple attempts to hear from Burger King have gone unanswered. Lend me up back to you. All right, let's hope we get things resolved there. Thank you so much. Let's switch gears.